What up, y'all? Okay, it's Sunday. Like, look, <clears throat> I'm just gonna come at y'all hard. So, um, let me think of what I was trying to do. So, yo, we all, it's 2020, right? We are all working towards a healthier goals. It's still January. Like, we're all trying to eat better, live better, do all the things. We're trying to have a better year. We're trying to, like, be better to our bodies. We're trying to, um, you know, like, put down the Girl Scout cookies, put down the wine. We're trying to be better people. We're trying to give more. We're trying to make more. We're trying to take our families on vacation. We're trying to start school. We're trying to finish school. We're trying to do all these things, y'all. We all got goals, right? We all got goals. We all got the things going on. We're planning weddings. We're like going through divorce parties. We are getting baptized. We are um, moving. We're getting new jobs. We're graduating college. We're sending kids to college. We're, you know, having babies. We're doing all this stuff and we're all focused on us and we're all about us right now, right? And like adulting is hard. Adulting is so hard. Like we got bills to pay, we got things to plan for, we got birthday parties to do, we got deaths happening, we got funerals, we got babies being born. We have all this stuff happening, yet, here's the kicker, is back in the day when we were growing up, right? Like all of our hopes and our dreams and our thoughts and our feelings and our wants and our whys, like it was just who we told our closest friends and family to. Now, 2020, being an adult, in today's world, we all have social media, right? We all have the power of the phone, okay? And I wanna say that like, we are all so different. We're all running the same rat race. We're all going to work. We're all getting up with kids. We're all like trying to be better humans. But here's the deal is that your dreams are different than everybody else's, right? You are you. You get to pick and have the final say and have the options on what it is that you want to do. You get that choice, right? That's why there's different types of cars, right? That's why there's different restaurants. Not everybody wants to eat Mexican food. Not everybody wants to eat Italian food. I'm fine with it. I'm down with it. I could live off of that the rest of my life, but not everybody wants the same thing, right? Not everybody wants um, the same coffee from Starbucks. That's why there's different flavors. Not everybody wants the same nails done. That's why there's a variety of that. Not everybody's going to buy the same pair of panties from Victoria's Secret. That's why there's stores all over the place. That's why there's different real estate people. That's why there's different hair salons. That's why there's options. Okay. Not everybody is going to support your dream. Not everybody is going to be exactly how you are. That is what makes this world and America great, right? Because we got options, because we have choices, because there's flexibility, because we do us, right? And not everybody's dreams are the same, okay? But with dreams is always going to come the opinion of other people. We all have our own opinions. We all have something to say about something for somebody, for some experience or whatever. Whether that's a vacation, whether that is a um, going back to school, whether that's pursuing a new career, whatever that might be, right? Like we all have something. But I'm here to tell you that the opinions of others do not pay your bills. They do not continue your hopes and your dreams. We all have those bills, right? We're all trying to struggle out there and make a living and do all the adulting things and, and show up for all the parties and be there for all of our friends and be there for everything and anything. And we are meant to support and encourage each other, right? So if you remember that saying back in the day, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say nothing at all. Where did that go? Why is it that the first thing that people want to say is always the negative opinion of their experience, right? Not everybody's going to have the same opinion. Not everybody's going to love their hair being done by the same chick. Not everybody's going to have the exact same experience when they went on that cruise or they went on that vacation. Why is it that we always listen to the negative stuff of everybody else, right? Like y'all, our mind is like Teflon and Velcro. Okay, I heard this today at church and so I'm just going to lay it out there for everybody. 
our mind is like Velcro and Teflon. The good stuff tends to slip off like Teflon, right? But the negative things that people say to us, whether it's a, a review, an experience, you know, somebody criticizing us at work, whatever that is, that negative sticks and that's what we remember, right? But here's my thing, is that I cannot stand ignorance. I cannot stand in today's world of 2020 that everybody is making money in all different ways because now we got a new app, we got Snapchat, we got TikTok, we got uh, Instagram, Snap, whatever, Twitter, like all these different filters, all these different startup companies, all these different apps popping up all over the place, y'all. Like this is the tech industry. This is the boom of like virtual reality on all that stuff. Why is it that we always have somebody else's opinion in our ears, right? Those people's opinions, they got their own dreams. Let them do their own thing, okay? So this is what I wanna say, is that bullying is not cool, right? We all want our kids to be loved and protected and like treated fairly at school, but why is it that Sally over here is so quick to be in somebody's inbox being a bully, being a hater because she's ignorant and isn't learning what it is that she's talking about. That's it, y'all. Like, look, like nobody says that there's too many photographers in the world. Nobody says that there's too many hairstylists in the world. Nobody says that there's too many real estate people in the world. Like there's all these different career things. There's nobody too, There's not too many doctors. There's not too many police officers in the world, right? Because we all have different dreams and hopes and wants and wishes and whys and that's what makes America great, okay? So why is it that when somebody else is trying to make extra income from social media, whatever that is, whether that is they're jumping into the photography world and they're going to use their social media to like help take pictures of other people. Why is that that like there's haters out there that are going to jump just like that? Why? Why is it that when somebody wants to go back to school for real estate, right? And you have to pay to go to school. Why is that? that there's going to be people out there being like, oh, well, so many people already do real estate. You're not going to make any money. Their opinions don't matter, right? So why is it that let me just drop it like this, right? Because you're on here watching and I'm just going to come out and say it because I don't normally voice my opinion like this, but it's going to come out hot. So why is it that like I was in the military, right? And there's going to be people supporting military and there's going to be people not supporting military. I didn't care. I went in for me. Okay, I got out for me. I didn't want to do it anymore, so I got out. So instead of like going into law enforcement because I was a police officer in the army, I decided to do ultrasound. It cost me fifty thousand dollars in debt, right? But I still did it. I still got out and did it. And I could have worked at that same job for year after year after year and would have missed every single moment with my kids. But I decided that when I got fired on maternity leave, right, against my own will. That's the thing about working for somebody else. And I never even thought that I was gonna do anything different. That's all I knew that I ever wanted to do, okay? But why is it that when that happened and then I decided that I was gonna step out out of my comfort zone and start a business from social media, I didn't even know what that was, why is it that people were so negative and so quick to shut it down? Because it didn't work for Susie over here. It didn't work for so-and-so and so-and-so. And now you have your great Aunt Sally in here in your ear saying, oh, that's dumb. That's not going to work for you. Oh, you have your cousin down the street had her best friend who knew somebody that started something one time or went to school one, one year and dropped out because she didn't feel like putting the energy in. Those people's opinions don't matter, y'all. Those people's opinions don't matter. And I'm here to tell you, you need to tell Sally to sit down and shut up right? Because you got to go after what you want and ain't nobody else coming to save you. There's no Prince Charming. If you want something bad enough, you get your big butt up and you put your big girl panties on and you go for it, right? And I tell these girls on my team all the time that they're going to be haters. There's going to be those moms and those mom groups blasting you out, calling you out because you're in a network marketing business. Yet they're over here expecting some help for raising money for their kids with Girl Scout cookies and going on a, a, an event for somewhere, let me tell you right now, if you are on my friends and you're watching this and you're going to be one of those skeptical people because you're ignorant and you didn't even ask the questions to make the logical decision on whether this business is for you or not, or whether going back to school is for you or not, or whether you're starting your own entrepreneurial startup company for some app that you want to do, or like making freaking 
potato salad. I don't care. Like we, if we want change to start within our children, we have to be the change that we want to see, right? If we want to inspire that kind of change, we got to, we got to be that change, right? So all those negative little comments, if you're being the bully, sit down and shut up, right? Sit down and shut up because we all got opinions. But if you don't have something nice to say, keep it to yourself, right? We want to be a better world. And that starts with us. That starts with what is in our home. That starts with how we are on social media. If we can't support and love and encourage other people, who do we think that we are? Like nobody's going to love and support and encourage us. But I'm here to tell you that if you want something bad enough, it doesn't matter what anybody else says. It doesn't matter what those haters say. Go out and get it, right? Like we all have different ranges of price range, of styles, of of like wants and desires, of things we like, the books we read, the movies we watch, the clothes we wear. We all have a different style, right? That's why there's no Gucci at Walmart, okay? There's no Gucci at Walmart. And that's why being a good person, that starts right here, right now. You all have New Year's resolutions, but when's the last time that you said you wanted to be a better person? When's the last time you said you wanted to support somebody and whatever that is? And even if that's just being like, you go Glen Coco, like that's all, like that's it. But don't be in people's inboxes being a hater about network marketing when there's so many other ways to not just be an ignorant person that other people are making incomes from. Like, does that even make sense? If that made sense to you, cause I'm just on a rant, say yes in the comments. Cause that's just what I need to say. Because y'all, we all have, like most of us all have more month than we do money. And so if there's somebody out there that's trying something, support them. It don't matter if it's a pat on the back. It don't matter if it is like a high five. Like I, my best friend still doesn't put me in this business. And guess what? I'm a top 150 income earner with the company that I'm with. And I don't need those people that it, they don't like my style. I don't need those people that don't want what I got. Like, I'm not trying to be those people. I'm not trying to appeal to those people. Go, go please. No, no, go. Am I going to tell you again? Okay, go. Thank you. Y'all, I'm telling you right now that if I wouldn't have said yes and I wouldn't have stepped out of my comfort zone, I wouldn't be able to be home with my kids. That wouldn't have been an option. I wouldn't be able to pay cash for the wedding that I wanted. That wouldn't have been an option. So, those people that don't support me, that's cool. You don't have to. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. I'm not talking to you. Just like if I was a restaurant owner and you didn't like the food that I had, it's cool. You don't have to come back. Like, cool. I don't care. You can't please everybody. I want y'all to know that. So whatever it is that you want, your hopes and your dreams, go after them. Go after them. And those that love you and, and want what you got, they'll support you. Right? And let me just say this at the very end of this. I have wanted for so long to become a photographer. I've wanted to so bad. Like that is just like my passion, like angles, lighting, filters, like all that stuff. That's something that I really, really love. But it stopped me for so long because of the cattiness and the uppityness of so many other photographers that I don't want to have to deal with people looking down upon me. And you know what? Like. Y'all, when I started a, a network marketing business, I thought the exact same thing. And now, three and a half years in, I'm here to tell you, I will go toe to toe with anybody and everybody for what it's done for me and my family. Is it for everybody? No. Is it for anybody? Absolutely. Is it another way to bring an extra income in without having to go and slave and wash dishes or pick up trash or like wipe somebody's butt? Like I've done all those things. Is that for me? No. Is talking to people through social media for me? Yeah. Does anybody else's opinion matter? Nope. Is it paying my bills? Nope. Do I want to love and support anybody and everybody that is part of this with me or that like needs help? Absolutely. Because why? Why? Y'all tell me why. If we want to be the change, we have to start with us, right? If we want to teach our kids not to be bullies, we can't be bullies on social media. Nobody's paying our bills but us. So it has to start inside and we got to pass it along because if we want a blessing, we got to be a blessing, right? So tell your cousin, sister, aunt, Sally, great, whoever to sit down and shut up because her opinion ain't taking care of what it is that's in your heart, okay? So go after what it is you want and don't be a bully on social media.